Mais je ne sais pas. Oh, je ne sais pas. Mais je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas, mais... Ah, je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. Stop saying, je ne sais pas. Although that phrase is perfectly fine, perfectly correct, there are so many other phrases you can use to express the same idea. So today, let's discover new phrases that you can use to diversify and spice up your vocabulary. Let's go. Welcome to Quirky French Podcast, the podcast that helps you speak more confidently, feel more focused and be more in control of your French learning journey. Prêt? C'est parti! Salut, bonjour, and welcome to episode 48 of Quirky French Podcast, the podcast that will give you all you need to find your voice, your style, and confidence in French. I'm your coach, Naima, from quirkyfrench.com, and today we're learning to avoid je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas, je ne sais pas, is one of those phrases that you know, we all use all the time. I mean, it's such a common phrase and it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it, but it can also be a bit bland and repetitive after a little while. So today we are going to discover and talk about new phrases that bring a lot more nuance and that you can use in lots of different contexts. You don't have to use all of them. Just choose your favorite ones and start incorporating them progressively. Now let's go. Okay, first off, before we start looking at synonyms and other phrases, let's have a look at je ne sais pas. If you're going to use it in conversations, then use je sais pas. Je sais pas, just drop the ne, it's a lot more natural. Je sais pas. Or contract even more and say je sais pas, je sais pas, which makes you sound a lot more fluent. Check out these examples here. Je sais pas. Alors qui me l'a volé? Je sais pas, c'est pas moi. Je sais pas, il y en a tellement. Je sais pas, je sais plus quel jour c'est. Okay, next up is je n'en sais rien. Simply say, j'en sais rien. J'en sais rien. I don't know, I have no idea. That phrase is pretty informal, pretty casual, so I would only use it in, you know, a relaxed context and definitely not in a formal conversation. So you should avoid it in a job interview, for example, because that would make you look very unprofessional. Mais comment c'est possible Mais j'en sais rien Justement, je cherche Ah, mais cherche bien, cherche bien Où est-elle maintenant J'en sais rien, je sais pas ce qu'elle est devenue, j'en sais rien du tout. Ok, so, when you're just unsure, you could say, je ne sais pas trop, je ne sais pas trop, but simply pronounced, je sais pas trop, je, je sais pas trop. Or, je ne suis pas sûr, or, je suis pas sûr, or even, je suis pas sûr. Pour être parfaitement franc avec vous, je, je, je sais pas trop ce que je fous là. Et j'ai vu un deuxième chat identique. Et tu penses que c'était le même chat Impossible, je suis pas sûr. Switch. Now, what about when you really have no idea Well, it's exactly the same thing in French. We use the word idée. So you could say, aucune idée, no idea. J'en ai aucune idée, I have no idea. Or, je n'en ai pas la moindre idée. I don't have the least idea. So again, aucune idée, j'en ai aucune idée, and je n'en ai pas la moindre idée. Or, j'en ai pas la moindre idée. C'est quoi un argol Aucune idée. Qu'avez-vous donc fait à ce pauvre monsieur Darcy Je n'en ai aucune idée. Tu sais à quoi je pense J'en ai pas la moindre idée. All right. Next, what about those times when someone asks you a question and you don't have the answer, but you also wonder yourself, you're quite curious. You could say, bonne question, good question. Or you could say, là, tu me poses une colle. Ooh, that's a tough one. Or, qui sait, who knows. Or you can use, va savoir, or allez savoir, meaning, go figure. J'en sais rien, mais c'est une bonne question. Oh là là, ma petite vie, vous me posez une colle. Qui sait, peut-être que cette fois-ci, ce sera différent. Je suis arrivé comment On va savoir. Alors pourquoi tu as inventé ça oh, Pourquoi Pourquoi Allez savoir avec les gosses. Lovely. Now, how about those moments when someone asks you a question and you're kind of upset 
that you were asked that question, you feel a bit defensive. Instead of saying, je ne sais pas, you could say, qu'est-ce que j'en sais, moi? Qu'est-ce que j'en sais, moi? Or even, qu'est-ce que j'en sais? Qu'est-ce que j'en sais? Meaning, how should I know? Or, comment veux-tu que je le sache? Comment veux-tu que je le sache? Again, how should I know? And then you can also use the same phrase as earlier, saying, j'en sais rien, but just add moi. J'en sais rien, moi. J'en sais rien, moi. And it's a mix of, I don't know, and how should I know? And those phrases imply, you know, why do you ask me or stop asking me altogether? Check out those examples here. Mais on ne hurle pas comme ça dans les trois étoiles. Qu'est-ce que j'en sais, moi? Qu'est-ce que tu ferais à ma place? Comment veux-tu que je le sache? Et c'est quoi votre numéro, chef? Mais j'en sais rien, moi, je suis au bout de la ligne. Right. Now, if you don't have the answer to a question and you want to save face or you want the conversation to keep going, you could use the following phrase. Je ne suis pas le mieux placé pour répondre. Or, je ne suis pas la mieux placé pour répondre. This is the perfect sentence um, to use in a more formal context. For example, the job interview. So, do not use j'en sais rien. But definitely go for je ne suis pas le mieux placé pour répondre or la mieux placé pour répondre. I'm not the best person to answer. And what I like about this phrase is that you're saving face because that makes you look humble and you're not really saying that you don't know. You're giving credit to somebody else in a way, but you are also most definitely deflecting. But it's a good one to know. So by all means, use it. Tous ces gens qu'on a vus, comment ça se fait qu'ils me connaissent Je me demande si je suis le mieux placé pour répondre à ta question. And then finally, just as a little bonus, I thought I would share with you a little sound that we produce in uh, France. And it's extremely informal. It's, you know, just something that you do with friends and families. But if you don't have the answer to a question, you can do a little farting, bubbly noise with your mouth and just go <laughs> and just do that as you shrug <laughs> as awkward as it is recording it in the mic this is a sound that we do when we don't know and you just shrug a little bit, tilt your head and you know, show that you don't know and just go and that says it all We do that in France as well, so here's your bonus. It's not a word in and of itself, but you'll come across it. So if you want to start practicing uh, using it, by all means, go for it as well. Well, I hope you had a good time discovering those new phrases. So start incorporating them progressively and those phrases will add depth to your speech. If you like the sound of this episode, remember to give it a thumbs up on YouTube or a five-star rating on Spotify. Thank you again for tuning in. I will catch up with you next week for another episode of Quirky French Podcast. In the meantime, have a lovely week and keep learning, keep growing and keep it quirky. À la semaine prochaine et bon week-end. Salut